Hi, I'm Travis from KDT Decompression Systems Technique, and I would like to talk about today is focused shockwave therapy, uh, which is a very, very popular uh, physiotherapy modality in our industry now. Um, it came out about seven years ago. I started seeing it in the U.S., uh, utilized by PT and, and more and more by chiropractors. And we were skeptical initially, but it's one of our favorite modalities now, especially for chronic pain. So what I want to do for you today is provide a little education on the different types of focus shockwave devices, on how the energy is actually delivered from the mechanics of how the devices are built, um, and a little bit of history of how that progressed uh, in the industry. So basically, most of you have heard of lithotripsy, which started in the 1980s, uh, which was focus shockwave to break up kidney stones so the patient could pass them uh, without surgeries. And then it came to the United States to be utilized for myofascial pain syndromes. Um, so a focused pressure wave, an acoustic sound wave, they call it, um, there's multiple ways to create that. There's actually four ways to generate that. Um, number one is the first timeline is 1980, um, the electrohydraulic uh, episode. Uh, that device, uh, there's a company marketing that particular uh, way to do this. Uh, it's pretty expensive. It's around $75,000. Uh, it's pretty popular. Number two, uh, you have the piezoelectric spear devices. Um, that happened in 1985, which has uh, piezoelectric crystals inside the uh, sound heads that drives the pressure wave. And the electrohydraulic actually is spark gap technology uh, that bounces off the tissue to go back and kind of compare. The third one is electromagnetic flat coil which was developed in 1986, uh, which is furthering into the technology. And then the last one that was created is another form of electromagnetic focus shock wave. It's a cylinder coil, uh, it's paraboloid. Uh, so it was 1989. And that's co-branded by two big companies. Um, the unit's the same, just different uh, marketing strategies. And that's around $45,000. Um, so some of them are pretty expensive, some of them are uh, more entry level, but um, they're all very durable. And I'm going to go through as far as you know, the results I've seen different doctors have different uh, manufactured devices out there. So I want to go over a little bit of the maintenance cost and things that we've seen as well too. So number one, the electrohydraulic devices, um, these are very expensive to upkeep. Uh, most doctors have to get a new handpiece, uh, which is $1,700. That's every 300,000 shocks, they so tell me. Um, so if you're in a busy practice, that's 1700 a month. Uh, the piezoelectric devices, um, those ones are what we see as the most durable and they last the longest. So they can last on average 15 million pulses and a manufacturer told us that that on record one lasting 27 million pulses, which is incredible uh, for the durability factor. And the expense of upgrade is, is not that much. Um, and you might get three years before you even have to spend any money on it. The electromagnetic flat coils, um, they're kind of expensive to maintain as well. I don't know the exact price point on that one because um, it's not as common as the electromagnetic uh, cylinder coil, um, which is the periboloid. That one is every million shocks, uh, it costs um, $2,500 uh, to repair or replace the handpiece. So if you do the math on some of these devices other than piezoelectric devices, um, you're going to have quite a hefty repair bill uh, to keep it functioning in your practice. And um, the electrohydraulic, uh, it's around over $50,000 for the same amount of pulses or treatments as the piezoelectric devices on the market. So um, just want to educate you a little bit on that and we're also going to talk about in the next video uh, radial pressure waves that are also called shock wave. Uh, but true shock wave therapy is actually focused devices um, and some focused machines actually are marketed as unfocused um, but they all create the same type of effect uh, biologically into the tissue. Um, so thank you and have a great day.